And thanks for joining today, everybody. So as part of the What's New for 2021-2022, today we're excited to present to you our 3D Experience EDU portfolio for schools and students. And that's an online platform allowing you to collaborate seamlessly with your students and students with each other to help run virtual classrooms anywhere, anytime, from any device. So typically, I always like to have a theme for a webinar. So today's theme is add the value of 3D experience to SolidWorks education. And what do I mean by that? Well, as of recent, the SolidWorks education portfolio has actually expanded. And now we have cloud and collaboration directly into the classroom, which does help boost students' employability, right? That's the name of the game. You can better prepare your students for the future of industry and how it's evolving through a tailored set of apps, dedicated learning content, and also communities to ask for help. There's also cloud-based, so that's 100% pure cloud CAD, design and engineering, coupled with project planning and team collaboration in a social media-like setting and environment, again, all in the cloud, perfect to run those virtual classrooms. So that's the theme of today's webinar, add the value, of 3D Experience to SOLIDWORKS Education. And to help out with that, I'd like to bring your attention to one of the handouts that you'll find in the GoToWebinar panel. The first one there is the ebook, which is Add the Value of 3D Experience to SOLIDWORKS Education. So that's a digital PDF for you to scroll through at your leisure. Go ahead and download that and check it out after the webinar. And it details the exact benefits of adding the 3D Experience platform to SOLIDWORKS Education. Uh, and that little logo, that little icon in the upper right of my slide here, that will pop up a few more times throughout the webinar. And any anytime you see that, that means there's a handout associated with the content I'm presenting on the slide. Cool, so let's dive on into the agenda. I'll go ahead and discuss quickly the desktop portfolio update. We'll expand upon the 3D Experience EDU portfolio and also include what's new in the upcoming release, which is happening in just a few days. We'll touch on certification of my SOLIDWORKS, and then I'll hand it over to Sarah to discuss resources and curriculum. So what's included in our desktop SOLIDWORKS Education Edition portfolio? Well, all the products that you see here, well beyond just SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD. Also access to my SOLIDWORKS for your students, which unlocks thousands of hours of training content. And also several industry standard certifications, which we'll talk about towards the end of the webinar as well. And there's that handy little handout icon. So included in the handout section is an ebook on the SOLIDWORKS Desktop Education Edition portfolio. So helping to explain all of the great products that you see here on this slide the benefits, additional resources, and much more. Also, to go alongside with our What's New in 2021-2022 launch, we have a new website that we've refreshed. And here you'll find a lot of the content of what we'll discuss today with links to even more content and videos. So that's solidworks.com slash edu launch, and that'll take you right to our new website. So the majority of today's webinar is going to be about the 3D Experience EDU portfolio, what that is, the benefits it brings, 100% cloud, all that good stuff. So for those who have not heard about the 3D Experience platform yet, what is the 3D Experience platform? Well, in a single sentence, it's a suite of apps and tools for schools, educators, and their students to collaborate seamlessly from anywhere. Again, it's a cloud platform, so anywhere, any device. Now, why are we doing this? Well, there are new challenges for schools and teachers that are you know, forcing schools to change the way they teach. So teaching ha itself has evolved. Uh, that's basically you know, with collaboration, the way teachers wanna communicate with their students has changed. Also, the invention of, of touch and mobile has changed the way students want to learn and consume learning content. How, when, and where they communicate has evolved and it does beg for a streamlined platform. And also apparent in our current global climate, remote learning is super important, and it does force schools to rethink 
how to teach, curriculum, and interact with their students. Another reason why the platform is, is uh, you know, the, some, some hot news and really important now is because the industry itself is evolving. So it's transitioning away from disconnected business silos to something that's more connected and efficient. Looking at those disconnected silos on the left of the screen, outdated businesses operate in different silo, silo departments that are disconnected from one another. Now the data exchange between those silos is cumbersome, uh, difficult to do, tracking data, comments, and feedback, it's, it's all disjointed and lost in translation. Plus there's also multiple file types to design, stimulate, render, manufacture, and that also adds to the inefficiency. So where the industry is evolving to is a connected and efficient ecosystem. So businesses are transitioning to a single platform to exchange and track ideas all in the cloud. That means stakeholders from the designers and engineers all the way up to the CEOs are always connected and in tune with what their business is doing. So the silos and barriers on the left-hand side disappear, optimizing the efficiency of the, of the business. It allows for multiple teams to collaborate on one connected database. And so that's our main mission in education, right? Is to prepare our students today for tomorrow's world. And this is where the industry is evolving and that's where the platform can help. So what is the platform? So it's everything you need all in one place. So obviously 3D CAD, right? With SOLIDWORKS and Dassault, 3D CAD is at the core and completely connected with, with each of these core collaboration pillars is what I call them. So on the upper left, you have team messaging tools and communication like Slack and Skype. You have project, a collaborative project and task management on the upper right, like Microsoft Teams or Trello. Online cloud storage, always included, so similar to like Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. Uh, collaboration news feeds inspired by social media, so like something like Facebook with likes, notifications. And all of that is all connected inside the platform. So it's same user interface, everything wrapped together, um, one platform to, to rule everything. And that's kind of our secret sauce at Dassault is, and this is our, is our advantage over the competition and the value of the platform. So everything you need, all of those items you just saw, all connected in one place. So what does this look like day to day? So this is the Dassault magic, if you will. So we have one file type. I'd mentioned that we have one file type throughout the entire design process. So no more transferring files from 3D CAD to your SIM application and then to a different tool for CAM. No more losing your files or trying to figure out which one's the final assembly or the latest one uh, for your class assignment or team project, for example. Everything's connected together. So you've got files with members and members with each other. And that big benefit is it's the same user interface. So once you learn how to use one role or app on the platform, you're pretty much a master at using them all. So again, one file, type to go from 3D design all the way through topology optimization, simulization, even virtual reality, rendering, and CAM, same file type. Now, integrated in there is real-time collaboration and in included cloud storage. So it links everything together all in one place. And the cool thing is, is woven in between are all your governance tools, like project planning, lifecycle management, review and markup, and much more. So something core to the platform to understand are the building blocks. So what's a role? You've heard me mention that a few times. A role is a collection of apps to complete your tasks faster and with more precision. And an app is an individualized task or tool that is required to successfully complete your job. And then a dashboard, you can actually take those apps, drag them over to your dashboard. It's a simple view of several sources of information with direct access to all your important content and apps, and it's infinitely customizable. And we'll touch more about dashboards and I have a cool little video to show you in a moment. So what's our EDU packaging for the 3D Experience EDU portfolio? So we have a few main packs that you can purchase in pack sizes, so packs of 10, 30, 100, 300, and 900. And that's what those roles look like in your compass, right? So a compass uh, helps you navigate to the platform, just like you can navigate those waters on the ocean. So your compass is key to everything and that's where your roles and apps are stored. One thing to know 
is that you can combine these pack sizes together to reach your desired number of students or users you have in a class. Uh, one thing different from SolidWorks uh, uh, floating licenses uh, are the, this is named users, so they're not floating. So if you've got 30 students in the class, then that small size of the 30 pack is perfect for you. So each student with their own named user account. Let's take a deeper dive into the packaging. So at the core, we have collaborative business and industry innovator. On top of that, you can purchase project collaborator, 3D designer, and 3D experience engineer. So those are the four main roles that schools can purchase. And due to time on the webinar, I won't dive too much into each of these, but definitely reach out to your local SolidWorks reseller to learn more about the complete 3D experience portfolio for education. But I will give you a little sneak peek at them. So what's included in that, that core, that, um, that pillar at, at the bottom of the screen there? So this is all of your collaboration and communication apps, uh, connects educators with their students and students with each other, embedded apps to collaborate, organize, review, improve communication. I mentioned included cloud storage and a lot more. And this is required with each of the other three 3D Experience EDU roles that you just saw. So let's take a look at dashboards. Like I've mentioned, it's a simple view of several sources of information and they're infinitely customizable. So if I was a teacher, maybe I want to add a homepage to my school. I can add another tab, add communities, which I'll show you in just a moment. So you can communicate with your students. I'll drag over X-Design, which I'll show you as well. That's your cloud-based 3D modeling. Uh, maybe I want to also drag over my 3D space, which, which is my included cloud storage. You can create a dashboard for each class. You can add course syllabus, embed important websites or references. Uh, you can post important announcements or updates. Uh, you can have your own dashboard as a teacher to manage all of your students, for example. It's always good to maybe have a dashboard per class. That way, as an educator, you can manage those classes. You can even lock the dashboard so the students can't edit the dashboard you have created for the class. But then obviously students can create their own dashboard if they want, which is also infinitely customizable. Now included with each of those 3D Experience EDU roles that you saw on the packaging slide is a default dashboard to ignite your learning. So we have a default dashboard for each of those roles and it comes preloaded with quick tips, uh, videos and learning paths to learn the roles and apps with deep, deeper technical videos as well. Then you can also receive immediate support from our dedicated communities with experts over here at DSO. Now I mentioned 3D Swim communities. So this is your one-stop shop for real-time collaboration. So teachers can post class announcements, reminders about homework due, Students can ask questions, get answers from their teachers. You can also use these, these communities to run projects, post ideas. We're showing the idea funnel here, which is where you can track ideas on a project, figure out which ones you want to move to the next phase of the design project, for example. You can also use the communities to post questions, and, and surveys to figure out which, you know, which design you guys want to move forward with. Again, if it's like a team project. But these 3D Swim communities are fantastic to communicate with your students and then also use it in a project setting to communicate with the rest of the team. Now, all of this is all in the cloud, so you can do all of this from your iPad, which is fantastic, including 3D Play, right? So 3D Play is also included with that uh, uh, collaborative business and industry innovator. This is where you can easily add annotations, circles, ellipses, arrows, post comments. You can then take a screenshot of it and post that directly to your dedicated 3D Swim community that I just showed you. So the rest of the team can reply back with feedback to everybody else. You can even review, markup, and grade these files that students have submitted to you from your iPad on the comfort of your own couch, for example. 
So 3D Play, a web browser that you can use, uh, or a, a 3D model browser that you can use on any device. So a lot more is included in that collaborative business and industry innovator role. So definitely check out and uh, discuss that role with your resellers. Uh, next up is Project Collaborator. Now these are for people who love the power, the collaborative power of the platform and the simpl simplicity and benefits that the platform provides. And included in this are the SolidWorks Connector and Project Planner. So let's go through Project Planner. This is one of my favorite apps on the, uh, on the platform. So it's perfect to run a class project. This could be the course, uh, the, the, uh, the, a project that lasts the whole course of the class or individual projects. This one, for example, is uh, a project from a, a company about a, 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 a trike and they want to lighten a component of it. So they're gonna add members to their project. In the schedule view, you can add milestones, you can add deadlines, such as you know maybe when the final design is due or uh, some checkpoints along the way and add dates. You can also then add individual tasks or projects to that milestone, start creating dependencies, saying this one needs to happen first. You can assign tasks to members of the team or students, for example. All really easy, again, cloud-based, so you can do this from any device, anywhere. What's really great is included with Project Planner is integrated cloud storage, so you can link to files directly. So when somebody is opening up their task that you've assigned to them, they have the 3D file right there to start. It's really easy to go ahead and see the tasks that have been assigned to you, or if you're running the project, all of the tasks, see what's in progress, what needs to be done yet, and a really cool summary view to get a status of what uh, projects are at risk, how many, how many need to be completed before the, 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 uh, the whole project been completed, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So that's Project Planner. Next up is the Platform Connector. So this is that 3D Experience Connector um, to, to, uh, to SolidWorks Desktop. So this connects your existing SolidWorks Desktop Education Edition to the power of the platform. Now you can easily upload your SolidWorks parts and assemblies to the platform, as you just saw, from that integrated 3D experience platform pane. Here we're using XShape, which takes advantage of sub-D modeling in your browser for super organic shapes that would likely be a lot more, a lot more difficult to create in SolidWorks Desktop. Simply drag and drop some shapes, push and pull, make the shapes the exact forms that you want. Now we're switching over with just one click over to XDesign, which is again, all cloud CAD modeling. And this is for parametric modeling in your browser. So very similar to SolidWorks CAD. You can add fillets, shells, anything else that you need to do. Again, typical parametric modeler. And then once you're happy with that part that you've created, Again, because it's connected to, to SolidWorks Desktop, you can easily, just with one click from that, ta from that integrated pane, drag over that part you've created, and it snaps right into your assembly, and you're off to the next stage. So that's how you can use the platform with, 3D, with SolidWorks Desktop to enhance your, uh, your you know, turbocharge, your SolidWorks experience. So building on top of SolidWorks Education, you can use that platform connector to go both ways, start in SolidWorks Desktop, go to the platform, then back to SolidWorks Desktop, or start in the platform, go to SolidWorks Desktop. You can reuse existing curriculum and files, all connected to the platform. You can expand skills beyond just 3D modeling, so you can get into lifecycle management, which is important after you graduate. And you can take advantage of all the collaborative benefits of the platform. So that's Project Collaborator. Now, everything of Project Collaborator is included in 3D Designer. And 3D Designer is our next-gen browser-based CAD modeling, preparing designers and engineers of tomorrow. So this is important for uh, students to connect on a single framework, one platform, and this allows teachers to provide virtual classrooms because it is 100% in the cloud, nothing to install. So 
for teachers who want to teach on Chromebooks, Macs, and tablets, zero installation, and no extra IT efforts. So included in here is one of the uh, one of the apps is XDesign. Again, parametric modeling all in the cloud from any device. So starting with the sketch, really intuitive ways to add dimensions, change dimensions, updating sketching and fillets and all that stuff. You can actually drag to to cut corners, as you'll see here, just like that in, in, in a sec, to go ahead and trim and add radiuses to your sketches. Super intuitive. Um, there's design guidance included in X Design, which we're showing right now. And what that does is that it, you set a load on the part, and then design guidance will use artificial intelligence to predict what the best strength of that part would be with using the least amount of material. So it'll allow you to come up with different shapes as a starting point that you might not have thought of, thought of before based off of the constraints that you added. Again, all in the cloud, super easy to do from any device. Next up is X shape. This is the subdivision modeling on the cloud. Really easy to drag those uh, control points, push and pull, get those surfaces exactly where you want them to be. Really easy to create those organic shapes in no time. You can even add you know, sharp points really easily. So not everything has to be a, you know, a, a, an organic blob. You can see what it looks like within the, the rest of your component there. And it's really easy to take a screenshot as you just saw that screen flash at the end and publish that screenshot from X Design right to one of your 3D Swim communities. That could either be to tell your teacher that, hey, I'm done and I've, I've finished the project. You can go ahead and comment on it. Or maybe the teacher could then uh, post a comment back to the student. So again, integrated collaboration directly within your CAD modeling. One platform, easy to do. Also another browser-based app is X Sheet Metal. Now this is a pure cloud app dedicated to designing sheet metal parts from extremely simple to very complex. Features and tools tailored specifically to creating sheet metal parts like industry standard corners and joints make it a breeze to create these parts. Uh, one touch flat pattern, as you just saw there, to collapse your parts for easy to make designing a breeze, for example. You can drop in your assemblies, make sure it all fits. You can even create cutouts from forms and shapes, which is pretty cool, and then pattern them. And review flat patterns using that one click to find those interferences before you try to manufacture to save money and then to help um, ensure manufacturability. So that's X Sheet Metal. Now we have three new X apps coming in our upcoming release, which is just days away, June 15th. These will all be included inside 3D Designer. We have Product Document Creator. So this is the X app, if you will, of SolidWorks MBD, if you're familiar with model-based definition from SolidWorks Desktop. It's very easy to dimension your model in 3D using those intuitive manipulators. You can freely drag the dimensions anywhere you need. You can easily create and organize curated 3D views for downstream manufacturing or for your teacher to view the, your, your, uh, your dimensions in your part, as you just saw there, and create 3D drawings, right? 3D drawings is the future, so this app allows you to create 3D drawings in, in no time. And again, this is cloud-based, so from any device, Chromebooks, Macs, iPads, whatever you'd like, even mobile. And the industry is transitioning to 3D drawing, so this one here will help schools and students uh, prepare for the future. Next up is 3D Structure Creator. This is really easy to create frames from industry standard profiles. It takes all the design work from manually creating the profiles and extruding them yourself. It comes preloaded with industry standard joints as well to accelerate the design process. And you can even generate a cut list with a single click. So if you wanna go ahead and fabricate this, whether it's a wood or metal, you have that cut list to go ahead and, and procure your supplies. And like the other X apps, this role's user interface is custom tailored to somebody who's creating frames and structures in the fastest and easiest way possible. Some use cases for 3D Structure Creator. 
as you can see there, it's a lot more than just staircases, right? Some very complex uh, structures. Also weldments. So if you are a part of Formula SAE or, or a Formula Student or Baja SAE, you can use this role here to create the frames of your, uh, of your cars. And also uh, structures built from extruded aluminum. So whenever you go to like an assembly line or an engineering shop, you'll see a lot of those structures from extruded aluminum. And sometimes the engineers or designers who design the things being made on that assembly also have to design these extruded aluminum assembly lines. So this role is perfect for that. And finally, 3D Mold Creator is coming on June 15th as well. It's great uh, for schools to teach students uh, draft angles and designing your part to be manufactured in a mold. Uh, you can easily check for undercuts. And what's really cool is your mold components update, so the core and cavity, the mold components update as the design of your part changes. So that's a super helpful feature. Again, all of those were 100% cloud-based. You can use it from any device. And finally, within our 3D Experience EDU packaging, we have 3D Experience Engineer. I call this the best of the brands, meaning Dassault Systems brands. So it's for schools and students that want everything, advanced CAD, simulation, CAM, manufacturing, collaboration, advanced visualization, and much more. Uh, and includes loads more features and workflows than SOLIDWORKS Desktop Education Edition has. Uh, most apps are not cloud though in 3D Experience Engineer and do need to be installed locally. And this one does not include SOLIDWORKS Desktop, just to be clear. But what does come with it are all the advanced 3D modeling roles and apps from CATIA. So comprehensive part design, surface design, assembly creation, mechanism motion, drawing generation, advanced function-driven generative design tools to analyze weight reductions for optimal part performance, as you see on the upper left there, including electrical wiring and routing, and even photorealistic virtual reality reviews, which is pretty cool. Also included are roles and apps from Simulia. So it's a complete set of analysis solutions to guide design decisions and improve design performance, such as advanced crash tests and structural analysis, uh, component stress analysis, aerodynamic simulations, like you see in the race car in the bottom left, and even advanced fluid dynamics. Now this is using, Simulia is using the very powerful Abacus solver. So that's why it's awesome and uh, provides a very powerful simulator. Also included are the advanced machining roles and apps from Delmia to help you rapid prototype your custom parts. So we're talking two and a half, three and four axis machining and easily defining tool paths to bring your part to life. So all that's included in 3D Experience Engineer. Now to have a little bit of a deeper dive of what all of those are and kind of to see what is included with each of those, we do have a handout attached to this, uh, this webinar. And that's a 3D Experience EDU Overview eBook, which goes into detail about all the benefits and workflows of our 3D Experience EDU packaging. Now new for the 3D Experience EDU portfolio is something called 3D Experience SolidWorks. Now this role is targeted more towards new education customers, so those who don't already have an existing SolidWorks Education Edition. That's a different flavor of SOLIDWORKS because it comes preloaded with all of the 3D Experience platform benefits that I've just mentioned. There are some caveats about it not being exactly one-to-one -to, -one to the EDU edition, but combining 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS with any of these 3D Experience EDU roles you see on the screen here, and you have an even more powerful features and workflows than SOLIDWORKS Education Edition. So a quick explanation of 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS for education. You can enhance your SOLIDWORKS curriculum and better prepare students for the real world with some of these included benefits of the platform now directly integrated into the SOLIDWORKS interface, such as searching and opening for files from your connected cloud storage, real-time collaboration, which is perfect for group projects with that collaborative task management, and also integrated lifecycle, product lifecycle management, right? which I'll discuss in, in this next video that you'll see. 
So directly integrated inside 3D Experience SolidWorks is that 3D Experience platform task pane. Here we're showing integrated task management, perfect to assign tasks for students. And if a student is assigned a task, they can go ahead and find that task and open up the CAD file right there directly from that window and get started. Super easy to search from your cloud storage to drag in components that snap right in. And also integrated lifecycle management, like reserving, unreserving files, managing revisions, and so much more, which is really important after graduation. Also the connections with the platform, such as re with real-time collaboration, like the communities, 3D play for annotations, and so much more. So looking at our entire portfolio, we do have a solution for any school's needs. We've got our good old SolidWorks Desktop Education Edition. We have 3D Designer, so that's pure Cloud CAD, allowing schools to teach remotely and have run virtual classrooms, or schools that have hardware limitations, so it works on Chromebooks, Macs, iPads, mobile, so much more. 3D Experience Engineer for advanced design, simulation, and manufacturing, so for maybe for like uh, universities or, or graduate schools. And then 3D Experience SolidWorks. So it's a collaborative power of the platform plus good old SolidWorks that we know and love. So we really do have a solution for any school's needs. So just to recap the value proposition for the platform. So it unites educators and students onto a single framework, a single platform for improved innovation and collaboration. You have apps to define, to, to design, refine, organize, manage, and most importantly, collaborate on content in real time. You can innovate, collaborate, and create designs anywhere, anytime. You know that inspiration hits, including Macs and tablets. Because it's all in the cloud with zero installation, you can use any device, and there's no extra IT efforts. And that's talking about the, um, the core platform and the, the X apps, those cloud roles that I showed you. And what this does is it ensures the continuity of learning, like I said, to help run those virtual classrooms. So that's the 3D Experience platform value for, for schools and students. Now, once you do have the platform, there's an easy way to access it from anywhere, any device. That's solidworks.com slash academic dash cloud. Sign in with your username and password and boom, you're off to the races, cloud storage all right there, all your design apps ready to go. To help see our portfolio matrix of all the included products within SOLIDWORKS Education and all the roles and apps within 3D Experience EDU portfolio, there are two handouts that are attached to this webinar. Feel free to download them and explore them so you can see what's included inside what, because sometimes I talk too fast in these webinars. Also, we have dedicated 3D Swim communities. There's one for educators and one for students. And this is all accessible right directly from that default dashboard that you receive when you purchase any of those 3D Experience EDU roles. Now for the academics community, the one on the right-hand side there that you see outlined in red, that's where teachers can uh, share innovations, stay informed on new features that are coming out, any available programs and curriculum, um, great onboarding tips for getting started, like how to use the platform, how to add your students, how to manage classes, also access to live and recorded webinars. And there's a screenshot of some of the latest content that's been posted to that academics community, which is for educators only. So that's the 3D Experience EDU portfolio. Next up, I'd like to touch on certification and my SOLIDWORKS. So with the SOLIDWORKS Education Edition desktop, offering, there are many certifications available to you beyond just CSWA and CSWP. And there's also now 3D Experience certifications available as well. And why are certifications important? Well, we like to think of it in four main ways. Uh, you can better your job skills, right, for students, which opens up lots of doors for either internships or full-time positions after graduating. SOLIDWORKS certifications are the most recognized CAD certification by hiring managers. A quick search on um, 
LinkedIn or anything like that to, to find some jobs and you'll see that the you know, SolidWorks certifications keep coming up. And it's really cool because the cert same certifications that students take are the same ones that professionals take in the workplace. So it really is a uniform measure of your SolidWorks skills. Get that CSWP, you know, and you're, you're right up with there with all the advanced SolidWorks users in, in the industry. And like I mentioned, there's more than just CSWA and CSWP. There's 11 plus additional exams covering a wide range of, uh, of uh, domains. Now, my SolidWorks, this allows you to help level up, right? As I mentioned, there's over a thousand hours of free learning content for students. There's training videos, not only on SolidWorks desktop, but also on the 3D Experience platform. And it's an e-learning platform that goes hand in hand with certification. There's test courses there and training for you to take to help prep for those exams via either videos and simple assessments. Now, how, you, how can you sign up for My SolidWorks? An easy way to do it is just Google search My SolidWorks for students, click on the first link, and then use your 9020 serial number to sign up that you have received from your teacher. That's how individual students can get access to all this great training content and videos uploaded to My SolidWorks. Perfect, great. Well, that's everything I'd like to present to you all today. I'll go ahead and kick it off over to Sarah to discuss resources and curriculum. Okay. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that delay. Thank you, Brian, for that introduction. <clears throat> so, hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Younghands. I am a member of the SolidWorks Education and Early Engagement Team. I'm going to talk about some great resources for educators as well as update you on what's new with the curriculum. So we know you, the teachers, have spent a lot of time developing your knowledge and know how to teach your students the right way, creating motivating lectures and hands-on exercises and preparing students with inspiring projects, you know, for the big world of industry. Uh, your, stu your students need every advantage that they can get. <clears throat> so how can they do that? They can do that by understanding what is new within SOLIDWORKS education. And what's new is the power of the 3D experience platform with SOLIDWORKS. So by bringing industry best practices to your classroom today, your students will learn the universal design and the engineering skills they need to build rewarding careers. So to learn more about, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> how you can add the value of 3D experience with a SOLIDWORKS Education Edition, I suggest you check out our launch website. This is uh, the site that um, Brian had mentioned earlier on, and I'm just going to jump real quick to the launch site and walk you through it a little bit. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Okay. So we have a lot of, of great content on this website. Um, it shows the details of our portfolio, what new roles we have. Um, we also have um, highlights um, of information, ebooks, flyers, and, and helpful videos. Um, you can um, see exactly what these new roles have to offer, making it easier for you to see what would work best for your classroom. Uh, we also provide information on the SOLIDWORKS Education Edition. Um, you know, it's that SOLIDWORKS that you know and love. Um, so definitely take the opportunity to check out our launch website. Um, it will certainly um, provide a lot more details. You can look at it at your leisure, um, but definitely um, uh, use that as a, a resource. So in addition to this great product information, you can also download all of the instructor curriculum that's available under the area curriculum and lessons 2021-2022. We have two pieces of premium content 
called The Fundamentals of 3D Design and Simulation and The Fundamentals of SolidWorks Electrical. This curriculum is only available to customers on active subscription. That's what we mean by premium content. Um, you will need to log into the customer portal in order to download your copy. Uh, please note that this curriculum is downloadable, but also it is non-reproducible. It is a PDF. Uh, so you can share the PDF, but you can't print it, and it is watermarked. But if you are interested in hard copies without watermark um, you know, of these, either of these pieces of curriculum, you can order them directly through your reseller. Uh, new this year, we have added the CSWA exam practice problems. So this is a great way to get your students ready for the CSWA uh, should you decide that you'd like to give this as your final exam. Okay, so um, Brian touched upon this uh, briefly as well. Um, we have some additional resources that we want to make you aware of, uh, one of which is our dedicated swim community for educators. As Brian um, had stated earlier, it is called 3D Experience EDU Academics. Um, uh, this is your single location for all 3D experience support, best practices, and more. Uh, this is a public community, but you do need to use your 3D experience login in order to access it. Um, in addition to the Educator Swim community, we also have a dedicated community for SolidWorks users called SolidWorks Connect. Um, it's where users can get the latest news, upcoming events, and connect with SolidWorks brand experts. Uh, this is a public community, but you do need to log in again, just like uh, the academic community, in order to access it. So another great resource I want to call out is 3D Experience World. I hope many of you attended our free uh, virtual 3D Experience World conference last February. Um, because the conference was virtual, we were able to attract a, a wider audience. In fact, we had over 14,000 educators and students register. This was an amazing response. Our 2022 conference will be held in Atlanta the week of February 6th. The plan is to make uh, this 2022 event, a hybrid event. Uh, so, um, you know, we want to keep uh, the momentum going, continue reaching a worldwide audience. So please put these dates in your calendar. 3D Experience World is a fantastic resource to learn more about our products, uh, engage with like users, meet our team. Um, it even makes a great field trip, uh, even a virtual field trip. So, we're always looking for student teams to participate in our playground area, which is our trade show floor. If your team is interested in participating, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and lastly, we are always interested in having educators be presenters. So if you are interested um, in being a presenter for 3D Experience World 2022, again, um, feel free to reach out to me. <clears throat> a great way to keep up to date with all of this SOLIDWORKS information and new content is to follow us on social media. Um, here is where we announce product launch information, new student challenges, promos, certification offers, uh, so we even feature schools or students. Um, so please um, follow us. Um, we're located on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Reddit, uh, uh, LinkedIn as well. Um, please uh, follow our education blogs. We uh, share a lot of great information, tutorials, um, technical information, uh, but it's a great um, it's a great resource. So uh, please be sure to follow us. So that concludes our presentation. If you want more information on any of the topics we've presented, please let us know. Um, I'm going to run this quick poll. It will allow you to let us know if there's any additional information that you might uh, want. Uh, and uh, please let us know, and we'll be sure to get uh, in touch with you if you require additional information.